Hello, America. I'm Tony. And I'm Mallory. And you're here for week 14. Yes, we, we were wrong last week, our bad. Yes. Our daunting recording <laughs> schedule and somehow, <laughs> you know, our daunting filming schedule we messed up. We yep. had two week 12s, no week 13. 13 is a bad number anyway. Right, we're just going to skip the bad we number with all it. this. Yeah, week 14. <laughs> so. Thanks for not blaming the producer. Yeah. It's actually my fault. Nope. No big deal. Nobody's to blame here, Dan. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, first thing, what's the buzz? What is the buzz this week? Yeah, so we got a lot of pictures sent in to us of maybe not necessarily people's camping situation this year. But from last year, so that's been really cool. So yeah. Got some pictures of some hideouts. They've been super, super popular, um, obviously around here. Mm -hmm. um, campgrounds. Rumor has it in Indiana, May the first. Mm -hmm. I think I read on the news that some other states are opening their campgrounds this coming weekend. Okay. Um, so you know things are starting to loosen up. People are going to be able to get out and do some things, and you know social distance around a campfire, staring at the stars instead of staring at the four walls. That, yes. We went on a hike yesterday just to get out of our four walls. I went on, I, we went on a hike. That's ironic. Look at that. I hiked from the living room to the refrigerator <laughs> back to the living room. Okay, we went on an actual two-mile hike around Mount Summit Lake. But, yeah, that still counts. Your hike still counts. Yeah, you know, as long as you get your heart rate up, that's all that counts. <laughs> I was chasing some chocolate uh, and some ice cream. Ooh. Yeah. Tony had it going on yesterday. You betcha. <laughs> we also got an awesome picture uh, from uh, some folks that sent a picture in from last year, and they got their doggo in the picture because, mm -hmm. you know, if everybody can't tell, we're all about the doggos. You know, <laughs> Not that we're not cat lovers. I'm allergic to them. I'm not a cat lover, oh. i got to admit. I like the Tiger King, though. <laughs> the show, not the dude. <laughs> the Joe Exotic dude's kind of creepy. I think you should take note that your likes did not beat what you wanted to say that we were higher than the Tiger King last week. Really? Oh, yeah, man. sorry. We didn't get enough likes to beat the Tiger King? We, we did not. And Tiger King came out with another episode, so... It was horrible, though. Nobody really liked it. it yeah, it was, that wasn't... It was... It was garbage. It was garbage. <laughs> it was. Oh, goodness. This other really cool picture that we got, though, the Montana with the American flag in the back. Very patriotic. Very nice to see Merca. right now. Merca. Merca. <laughs> Super awesome. And then we have the people down below that uh, third time Keystone uh, 2019 Keystone Ambassadors got the full meal deal plus the supersized shake. Got to go to Keystone to the manufacturer. Yep. Got to shake hands with the who's who. Yep. Little love from the, from the manufacturer. Yeah. So that's super cool. Yeah, so thank you guys for your dedication to Cougar, to not just Cougar, but Keystone. Yeah, Now absolutely. they own the Cougar. So yeah, these were all really great pictures that we got to see from you guys. So let's see more. Obviously, you may not be able to get your camper out right now, but let's see those pictures from last year. Yeah. What are you maybe looking forward your, to? Maybe your favorite place that you've camped. Mm -hmm. Maybe your favorite campground. Maybe your favorite day. You know, Fourth of July, St. Patty's Day, you know, Halloween. I know a lot of people love camping yes. during Halloween because the kids get to dress up and mm -hmm. go trick-or-treating from camper to camper, and they come by mine, and, you know, not only do we have candy for the kids, but I usually have beer for the adults <laughs> as they're walking around the campground with kids, and we share all that great you stuff. You take so. care of everybody of all ages. You know, we are equal opportunity lovers of the camping. <laughs> I love it. I'm going trick-or-treating at Tony's camper. So our next segment, Around the Web, yes. super cool. Yes. So we found this nice Winnebago with a nice old car in the back. Yeah. The modified Volkswagen Beetle, super cool. Yes. Possibly the coolest Beetle ever. Yeah. No, it's, it's a really nice setup. Somebody definitely put a lot of effort into that. Yes. Fixed it up kind of like a rollback and yes. you know, take their car around and doing cool stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so next we're going to check out this video. I mean, how cute is this? That's ridiculously cute. To tote around your little camper. Yeah, yeah. So sweet. It, it is cute as a button if they just had a doggo with its head sticking out like the window. I may revamp my kid's Barbie Jeep. That'd be cool. Right? I challenge you to do it. 
I've got a lot of time right now. Even better so. yet, America challenges you to do it. <laughs> get get your hubby to build the little camper to pull behind the Barbie Jeep. Let me add that to his list. He might he might be pretty mad at me for adding that to his list right now. Well, he watches these too, so. Wait. Derek, it's been voted. You got to build a little camper for the back of the Barbie Jeep. Yep. <laughs> and then this, I love this. This is super cool. Yes. I don't care if it is Photoshop. <laughs> Who does not want an a, an M1 Abrams tank with a motorhome on top of it? They've thought of everything, right? You can, you can go anywhere and everywhere and you, you just you, I mean, you tear up the campsite. Turning around, right? You have to be very careful. Just but. maul right over everything. But one, who's going to tell you that you can't do that? Yeah. What? What right. are they? Yeah. What are they going to say? Right. So I'm going to guess. I was going to ask both of you which one you would take: the Winnebago with the Beetle or the uh, Winnebago on the tank. Um, I'm in for the tank. You're in for the tank. I'm Mallory? in for the tank. Winnebago with the Beetle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in for the tank. You would be in for the tank. I could see. I, I think I could have guessed your answer without. I could. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's let's see what America thinks, yeah. guys. Put in the, in the comments which would you choose? Yeah. The Winnebago with the beetle, or yeah. the Winnebago with the tag. So are you Team Tony or Team Mallory? Uh, I'm definitely Team Tony, and we're getting the tag. <laughs> if we didn't have such a low budget filming, we would talk. <laughs> we would talk the powers that be into buying the winner. Okay. But that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, that's probably not in the budget. We could try, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. It's not, not. Hey, we got some great recipes. We've been talking about recipes in the episodes. Yes. That chicken and black bean nachos looks phenomenal. Yeah. And we're going to have all of these recipes, if they send us the recipe, complete recipes, we're going to have those uh, in the comment section so you guys can check those out. So if you try them and you like them, Make sure you comment. Yeah. Invite us over for a taste test. Ooh, yes. Because the next one, I want a taste test. The no-bake Nutella s'mores granola bar. You won me over with Nutella and s'mores. Never, I've never had Nutella. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you like chocolate, it's it's awesome. Some things you just can't. I, I just can't wrap my head around substituting certain things, like almond milk. My wife has tried to tell me, oh, almond milk, it's just like milk. No, it's not. You know, no. I drink almond milk, and I would agree that no, it's not. It's not. But I do drink it, so. It's delicious. I like it. <laughs> you know what? You know what's delicious? What? Milk. Plain old, 1%, 2% milk. Yeah. That's the way, that's just the way it works. Hey, everybody has their own, right? You betcha. Okay, and the next one, campfire pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? It's just a good old pizza. No, I like this one. Ooh, and then the next one would be an easy one. Campfire cinnamon roll-ups. You know, we've done this with just cinnamon rolls. Put them at the end of the stick and cook them over the fire. Right. That's pretty good. So I'd be down. We make them in the in our our we've got the little pizza oven thing the little yeah. the, the little clamper thing I don't know what it's called I know what you're talking about but you know we make cherry you know cherry or apple pies yep. um, we make pizzas mm -hmm. like you know long before hot pocket you know I grew up we grew up eating those things at the campground long before anybody made hot pockets we were making hot pockets at the campground you were all like the, time. the original hot pocket hot pocket oh is those you know I don't <laughs> They were just awesome, but we've also made, um, we've taken the, the, those little clamper iron things mm -hmm. and just put some bread and butter on there with a little cinnamon and sugar mix yeah. and, you know, done them that way. Just cool stuff like that. So super cool idea though. Yeah. And you can't go wrong with crescent rolls. No, no. When you can add a hot dog to it and make a pig in a blanket. It's, yeah. it's one of those perfect foods. It's a very versatile it is. food. And you know the part where you crack the crescent roll thing open or the biscuit roll thing and open it and it goes Pfft. that's what I that, you know that's what the quarantine is doing to all of this. <laughs> I I, I kind of <laughs> like the like the doughs popping out of my shirt. 
Yeah, I feel like I've definitely gained more weight in quarantine, yeah, for sure. Not, not, not loving it. Mm-mm. Not loving it. Not a fan. So in Gadget Corner. Yes. Huge debate. This actually is. We get this a lot. So the dish. Do you get it? Do you not? You know, and, and I get people that full time. Mm-hmm. They're looking for some sort of television. Right. Uh, because they're not going to be sitting out by the fire all the time. But, you know, weekend campers, things like that. Yeah. Some people are all about it. Got to have it. Whether it's dish or direct TV. Mm-hmm. Got to have it. Got to have cable. Got to have TV. You know, things like that. But the those Playmakers, the portable satellite dish is super cool. I know we sell a ton of them. But what do you guys think? Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got people that they want their sports, right? Right. Whether they're weekend campers or not, they got to have their sports. So, yeah, what do you guys think? We personally don't yeah. need anything. Yeah, being a sports lover and the fact that there's only reruns of stuff on sports-wise now. Yeah. Probably okay with I'll, that. I'll watch some ants run down the sidewalk right now and, <laughs> like, give them... Like, another. commentary, like, yeah. judge yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you seen WWE right now though? No, I'm not. But the, they just did WrestleMania with no fans. It is the strangest thing. Really? Even if you're not a wrestling fan, flip over to it because the commentators are almost whispering, and you can hear them perfect. And there's nobody but two commentators and the two wrestlers in the ring. It is the See, strangest thing. I feel like there are certain sports that you need the audience for. That's one of them. Golf, maybe not so much. Like, you could probably still do that without the spectators, and it wouldn't... Because they have to be quiet anyway, right? So you wouldn't really notice. But wrestling, no. The whole point of the the spectators is to amp everything up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if Hulk Hogan was still wrestling, would he still be doing the... To the empty (laughs) crowd? You know, trying to get the Hulkamaniacs fired up, you know, when they're yelling and screaming, and he's doing the... That might yeah. look a little ridiculous at this yeah. point. <laughs> you know, or is is would would Macho Man Randy Savage be standing in the middle of the ring with the oh yeah? <laughs> no, that, that's the Kool Aid Man. His was a little different than that. But. Sorry to confuse those two. <laughs> but no, I mean it it, it, is, it would be weird. It and I, and I've tried to watch. I'm not a huge I'm not a huge racing fan. I yeah. love I, I love watching motocross, but I'm not a huge racing fan. But admittedly. I have watched a little bit of this eye racing, like the virtual racing. Yeah, that doing. and and yeah. admittedly, you know, I've paid enough attention and thought, hey, that kind of looks cool. And twice I've been on websites like with my credit card in my hand, thinking, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this if they can do it. And then it, it inevitably flips over to one of the NASCAR drivers who is showing his forty thousand dollar eye racing setup. But I'm thinking, dude, I was in for like one hundred fifty bucks, you know. <laughs> But I was just gonna buy the controller. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy the wheel and <laughs> mess with people. You know, I carry it around, sit in the passenger seat of my wife's car, like I'm driving, like I'm the mailman. <laughs> oh my goodness! The places we go on our episodes. It's fun though. So something I thought was kind of funny in in our lackluster. For those of you that don't know, we don't really ha- we don't have a script. Obviously, mm-hmm. you couldn't script the ridiculous stuff that comes out of my mouth. You couldn't. Um, so we just have kind of a loose set of guidelines. Mm-hmm. But I thought this was kind of funny because our next segment is industry news. Yeah. And so today we have a piece of paper that says industry news. Mm-hmm. And and it's 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 blank. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, mm-hmm. there's not a ton of industry news because most of the manufacturers are not building they're not building anything that that is newsworthy because they're building things that humanity needs. Right, and nothing has really changed from what we've covered in industry news yeah. previously. Yeah. So, so kudos to all the manufacturers building the PPE equipment, mm-hmm. uh, doing all that stuff, trying to keep America safe. Um, it really does feel like from some of the news stuff that we're, we're maybe getting on the back side of this thing and mm-hmm. going to start loosening up th- some things. And So hopefully we're all going to be able to get out camping again and all that great stuff, which means we need you guys to send us pictures of your campers. Yeah getting ready 
I drove past some friends' house the other day, and we honked and waved, and they had their camper out in their yard, had the door open, starting to load everything up, unwinterized, getting ready. Yep. And I can almost picture the second that they say the campgrounds are open, psh, out. So in my mind, this is what I picture. You may not have seen this. I, I'm relatively sure Dan has, and a quarter of the people that watch our episodes have. Mm-hmm. In the movie Independence Day, when they're rolling across the desert and there's, you know, just hundreds and hundreds of vehicles and uh, the crazy. That's what you're dude, envisioning. With I'm envisioning, <laughs> you know, like the highways are packed full of people in their <laughs> RVs. There's no auto. There, there won't be any accidents. Everybody will be really nice, like waving at each other. Hey, we're going camping. <laughs> it's I, either, I, it's either going to be that, or do you remember the video I shared about a year ago that that it was like a race car with a small camper hooked to the back, and he was doing like a hundred mile an hour <laughs> going down the road on a bumpy road. It's right. going to be one of the two. Right. Like, right. It's right. either going to be nice massive organized or it's going to be a yeah. hundred mile an hour to the camper yeah i just yeah. think you know i just picture this you know, dry desert lake bed with <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of you know everything under the sun the, the hippies in their their vw camper van, van with their birkenstocks hanging out the window and, right you know the the like the muppet uh, what was the band in the muppet dr t was it dr t was that it, Dr. T? Uh, it's been a while. And they had that cool old school bus that was all painted up that the band traveled mm-hmm. in. You know, you got, so the band's going, you got the the Winnebago with the tank under it, the Winnebago with the Volkswagen, just everybody's like rolling across, you know, <laughs> like Mad Max from Thunderdome. Uh. You know, 700 campers and seven spots in the campground. Welcome to the Thunderdome. You gotta fight it out for the last seven spots in the campground. It's gonna oh be great. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be great. Tony's thought process keeps everything lively. You betcha. I love it. So, this week's what the bu- what's what's the buzz? We did what that already. We? <laughs> <laughs> that is totally staying in the video, by the way. <laughs> I just well, snorted. <laughs> you sharded? Is that what you said? Snorted. Oh, snorted. Sorry. Guys, I think that brings us to the oh, end of God. episode 14. That's probably the best place to stop Yeah, that's it ever. the best ending point we could have. You betcha. It's been really fun. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, till week 15. We'll see y'all next week. See you next week. <laughs>